Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode we finished our second chapter free day to patrol with Station Street, Central Square, the back alley, and West Street before starting down the West Crosswell Highway, where we witnessed buses shuttling more passengers of the Durrell train. Arriving at the site of the incident, we managed to convince Commander Bells to let us investigate as we start our scrutiny. How much longer until the heavy machinery we need to move the train car arrives? Within the next 30 minutes, ma'am. What of the investigation, though? That may take even longer, correct? We don't get at least one of these tracks ready to operate by evening. I can only imagine the problems it would cause. If, Garsman, I don't think you'll have any need to worry about that. Cleanup and repair efforts will be completed as planned, when planned. Anything less is not an option. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. There she goes, bringing down the jackboot. Well, she is Commander Bells. We should be grateful that she's willing to give us as long as we need for a complete investigation. Let's make it up to her by getting to the bottom of this accident. The guardsmen have been instructed not to hinder your investigation, so conduct it as you see fit. The heavy machinery requested is scheduled to arrive sometime in the next 30 minutes. Until then, we'll have to clean up and repair what we can. I understand the necessity of the investigation, but we can't afford to push back the schedule either. No way around it, I suppose. It'll be grueling, but we'll just have to put our noses to the grindstone and get it done. Okay, we can't investigate the train specifically. This would be the locomotive. The most essential car of the train. Without one, it would be unable to move at all. Inside is the engineer's cab and the orbital engine produced by the Rhineford Company. That's all very educational and all, but doesn't something about this seem off to you? Just think the same thing. There's not nearly as much damage on it as I would have pictured. You're right. It's a little unnatural considering it's the frontmost car. Think about it. Had it collided with something head on, it wouldn't still be this pristine. Whatever caused the derailment must have hit it from somewhere else. Not even the rocky slide of things. Unless a rock slide can come down this slip, I guess. If the train collided with something fed on, the front car wouldn't be so pristine. Whatever caused the derailment must have hit from somewhere else. Can't check out the scuff. What do you suppose happened here? <laughs> Those are claw marks, right? In an L. We were thinking a rock might have rolled down the nearby cliff and derailed the train. Maybe this is where it made impact? Oh, that's a weird rock. The possibility is there, given the spherical dent on the side. I don't know about that. How do you explain these giant scratches here in the center of them? When you think about it, the position's a lot farther up than you'd expect, too. I don't think a simple fallen rock would have left marks like these. If that's the case, then just what did collide with the train? No. Not rocks, but we could have told that earlier, you know? Well, I've gotten a good look at it all. This was one hell of an accident. Thank Adios, there weren't any fatalities. I believe most passengers who were not taken to the hospital were transferred by bus to the Republic. Unfortunately, that means we can't take any statements from them now. Well, sometimes you got to work with what you got. Speaking of which, have you spoken with the conductor yet? He's resting by that rock over there. I was too shaken to remember anything useful when we talked to him earlier, but maybe he's calmed down by now. Make sure you hear what he has to say. He's the most important one. Hey, Raymond. We investigated each individual car as much as we could just to be fair. But unfortunately, it didn't turn up anything. No clues to be had. For sure, not one thing suspicious on a train that large. Not really. It's just the passenger's luggage in there now. Nothing seemed off about any of it. All signs are pointing to the derailment being caused by some external force. Yeah, I guess so. Like, I can't even look at the scorch up top. Uh, I wouldn't get too close to this train car if I were you. It's holding its balance for now, but it could still tip over at the drop of a hat. But this is like the one I have to check out. See? <laughs> Warns me, I walk straight under it. This one's got signs of damage from the side too. Oh, there's so much glass and debris to clear out. Can't risk even one pebble staying on the railway, so we've got to be thorough and clean all of this up. Hey, Muriel, how's the repair work going? I would say it's proceeding just as well as the investigation is. But until the heavy machinery arrives to help us move the train itself, there's only so much we're able to do. And now the best we can manage is to clear the debris from the tracks. I figured that'd be the case. We could lend a hand if you need it. No, you don't have to put yourself out. Six of you should focus on figuring out what happened. And inform me if we discover anything that might help. When the call came in about an accident, I didn't imagine it would be something of this scale. 
It's going to take a considerable amount of resources to get these railway tracks fully refurbished. Telling me. Ooh, hello. This whole fiasco really did a number on the tracks. They're all torn up. Judging by the damage, I said the derailment started right around here. So it was on this rail. So the force of whatever hit the carriage here managed to skew the rest of the train up all the way that way. Can't believe the train ended up blocking both sides of the track at once. Can you imagine how terrified the passengers must have been when it went off the rails? Amazing it didn't fall over as much, you know? It was colliding with the wall for quite a long way. Look at the marks on the cliffside. They're enormous. It's like the whole surface has been carved into. Part of the ground must have been gouged out too. The train must have derailed toward the left-hand side. Quick question. Why do you suppose these streaks in the wall are so blue? I believe those would be flecks of paint. That's gotta be it. You can tell it's the same colour as the train's cars themselves. After the train derailed, it must have scraped against the rock for a ways, leaving those blue skid marks. No doubt, but look how far along they run. How would the train even stay against the wall for that long? So we might need to rethink the actual circumstances that led to these marks. Hmm. Yes, it would have bounced away and been forced away. Why would it have stayed? So not only did something hit it, but something held it against it? What the? Sentient rock slide. Ah, oh, what a day. I should be thanking the goddess I'm okay. At least compared to the poor people who got carted away by those ambulances. I've never seen a trail fly off the track so violently before. You're the conductor, correct? If you wouldn't mind, could you give us your account of what happened at the time of the derailment? Sure, if that's what you want, I'll do my best to tell you how it happened. The detective over there asked me earlier, but I think I was still too shaken to give a halfway decent statement. It all happened so suddenly, you know? I couldn't help being a little out of it. That's perfectly understandable with how severe the accident was. We can't expect you to recall every little thing. Any normal person would be in shock after going through something like that. Exactly. As things stand, even the tiniest detail could prove helpful. Do you remember seeing or hearing anything suspicious? Anything at all? Suspicious? Well... Oh, now that you mention it, yeah, maybe. Something springs to mind. It was right before the derailment happened while I was on the comms with the engineer. Just started yelling out of nowhere. I remember him shouting, What is that? Or something along those lines. The accident happened moments later. The front car derailed and the rest of them followed one after another. Well, you know, the story goes from there. Now I'm out here talking to you. Evidently, the engineer was caught by surprise. The sound of it, he must have seen something he couldn't believe. Which leaves us with one question. What was it that he spotted? Okay, I think we've gathered as much intel here as we can. We have, already! Enough for Lloyd, anyway. It had better be enough for him, because I sure as hell haven't connected any dots. I may have put a thing or two together on my end. What's our next step? Should we review the information we have thus far? Yeah, let's do that. We should talk. Oh, call over the commander and inspect Donovan too. All I really know is it was hit from the side. Something with a claw weaponry. And like, it was more than a rock, obviously. To hold it against the side for that long. So has your investigation yielded anything insightful? That's the hope. First, I want to address the possibility of the derailment being caused by a fallen rock on the tracks. That surely everyone should be like, yeah, this ain't no fallen rock. From my investigation, I believe it's safe to rule out that possibility. <laughs> You're telling me? R really? Why? I take it you have some line of reasoning to back that claim up. Naturally, you see... The engineer's cry heard by the conductor. What is that? Yeah, I guess that rules it out from being a rock. Less damage at the front of the locomotive, or the dent on the right side of the locomotive. What? 
It's going to be these two. But that's actually viable for what we want. <laughs> it's either or. Oh, oh no, okay. No, that's not work either. If it said the dent at the front of the locomotive, I'd put that. Because of the obviously unnatural claw-like marks. <laughs> but it's just the stupidity of these sentences. I don't like any of them. Well, I mean, there wasn't a rock in front of the thing. This is the cliffside where the rocks are. The other side isn't rocky. It's grassy. It's a grassy knoll. It's unlikely to be a rock slide. If it was a rock slide, it would come from this side. So it would hit this side or the front of the train because it's so close. Right? We found more than a few areas of suspicion during our investigation, but the decisive factor was how pristine the front of the locomotive still was. Could you explain further? It's true that there's less damage at the front, but what does that prove? That there wasn't a rock on the tracks? Yeah, okay, it's going by my logic, good. Logically, if the derailment were caused by a fallen rock landing on the tracks, the train would have collided with it head on. For the mass of a high-speed train to lose balance and derail, the impact would have to be substantial. If that had really happened, then the evidence of it would be more apparent. Oh, I think I get it. When all said and done, the front of the first car is hardly dinged up at all. So that rules out the initial and most obvious explanation. Indeed it does. That is a fact we can't afford to overlook. Also, where's the rock, guys? Where's the murder weapon here? In that case, what do you suspect is the true cause of the derailment? At first, I had to consider whether this was possibly the work of some kind of explosive. There were a lot of scorch marks. E explosive? You're saying this could have been a Jaeger operation, or worse, a terrorist group. I'll admit my mind wandered there pretty quickly too. That's why I kept my eyes peeled, but as far as I could tell, there weren't any traces of explosives. I would hope not. We'd already accounted for that, and we didn't find anything in the soil either. So after all and now, there's only one other possibility left remaining. It was indeed a collision, but not from the front. Whatever it was rammed itself into the train from the right-hand side. That should be obvious to everyone here. Excuse me? R rammed? What? Like on purpose? That's insane! This is starting to sound less like a train derailment and more like a car chase. Now I understand. That would explain the dent on the right side of the locomotive. Yeah, here's the way I think it went. First, our unknown culprit landed right next to the train as it bowed down the track at full speed. That was likely the moment the conductor heard the engineer yelling on the comms. After that, the assailant began to run alongside the train <laughs> before ramming it from the right, causing the dent. Lloyd knows how dumb this sounds to everyone as well, probably. <laughs> the force led the leading locomotive to derail toward the left-hand side. But our assailant didn't stop at that. It continued to push the locomotive into the cliff on the far end, yes, causing the long scrape marks. And there, the train eventually skidded to a stop, leaving marks on the rocks along the way. As for the cars following behind, they ended up scattering off the rails in every direction. But one of them got smacked one. That's my working hypothesis, given what we know right now. So yes, there's someone who can land next to the train, run as fast as the train, hit the train so hard that can derail it, and hold the moving train against the wall. Just saying, guys. Huh. Well done. Everyone's okay with that. You really are a guy's little brother, you know? Hell, your sleuthing skills may be even better than his. No kidding. Guy's style of investigating was way less fur and more instinctive. Hey, watch it. He's ours. <laughs> We're proud to have him. Good old soul, wise leader. Even I couldn't think that far ahead. Very impressive. But it does leave one question, Detective Bannings. The identity of this unknown culprit. Do you suspect this to be the work of some sort of monster? I mean, I would have no clue. It could be anything. There are people just that powerful in this world that you haven't met yet. And we haven't got the scope for yet. Like, everyone in this world hasn't really got it. The normal civvies. What's this perhaps caused by another of those recently spotted cryptids? Well, when you look at the facts... I mean, you can't actually say anything for sure here. Oh, no, the question is literally, was the accident caused by a cryptid? I can't say it's a likely conclusion. Why wouldn't it have continued on attacking? This seemed a bit more sentient 
and a bit more measured. Uh, on top of that, yeah, I'm gonna say we can't say for sure. On top of that, like some of these cryptids we know are literally locked to the location they're in. The higher the higher elements in play here, I guess Tia would have noticed that as soon as we walked in. I just say. Mainly because we'd have suspicions of, like, God knows how many actual people as well that could do this much damage, most likely. There's no question a cryptid would have the strength to derail a running train based on our experience. While I can understand why that would be the most likely explanation, we can't say for certain just yet, because you need evidence. We're working in an evidential business, people. I agree. Cryptids have only spawned in the presence of the higher elements thus far, and I sense no sign of them. Point made. Not to mention we didn't see those blue plants anywhere nearby either. Yes, I'm inclined to agree. However, this only further raises the question of just what it is we're dealing with. Society's archaisms are a possible candidate too, though I'm not sure how likely that is. Are they really the type to resort to such a drastic and blatant attack? We were told that no. What was that? It, it sounded like a monster. And it's no ordinary one either, judging by that blood curdling cry. Let me scan the area. Activate. Where, where is it? Where? Reigns, get the photo course ready. We're getting a shot one way or another. You can't be serious, Grace. Distance 10 Selgan moving. It is escaping to the west. Ugh. Let's chase after it. Roger Wilco. Affirmative. What? Are you out of your minds? The CGF will back you up. No, you should keep working on the cleanup efforts. You have a schedule to keep. We'll go and give chase. <sighs> if you're certain. I'm not entirely comfortable with it, but we have no other choice. Someone has to be here when the heavy machinery arrives. Stay in contact. If anything happens, we'll come to your aid. Understood, ma'am. Wazi, what's that? Grace, you wouldn't happen to be planning to come along with us, would you? Well, can't deny that I was considering it, but I get it. The situation seems stickier than usual, so I'll hang back this time. But now we'll head to back to Crossbell City and draft up a breaking report. As soon as we get the rest of our people together, we'll return to gather some more material. That should be safe enough. Besides, if you guys follow us and got attacked, you might never get a chance to make that report. You say that again? I don't know what this thing you're chasing is, but it's got to be nasty if it caused a whole derailment. You better be careful and come back in one piece. I won't be able to get an interview out of you otherwise. We will. Thanks, Grace. All right, let's start our pursuit. First, we'll need to head west on the highway. Claro. Let's go back as a monster. Where? West on the highway, eh? This is the West Coastal Highway Unit. We have auditory confirmation of an unidentified roar in the area moments ago. Per orders of Commander Bell's, railway repairs will be prioritized for the time being. We need the heavy equipment delivered ASAP. Repeat, deliver the heavy lifting equipment ASAP. We'll leave it to you and your team to investigate that roar. In the meantime, Commander Bell's has orders to focus on repairing the railway. If we finish quickly, we may be able to provide you a backup. Till then, it's in your hands, SSS. It's only one person now, you know. Can we go back in? Okay. Can we go back to Crossbell? Let's work. What is the do's and don'ts of our current situation? You know what I mean? What was that ghastly well just now? It sounded like it was coming from the depths of Gehenna. Calm down, friends. We're just about to go and investigate. Can we trust you to watch over things on this end. Yeah, you got it. Be careful out there, Lloyd. Make sure to watch your backs out there, okay? I sure would be if I were chasing after that thing. Randy, Noel, what was that horrible roar we just heard? Couldn't say, but I wouldn't let your guard down. We count on you guys to keep a sharp lookout over here. Roger that. I don't know what that roar was, but our deadline's far too soon for us to halt the repair effort. Let's leave things here to us. We'll keep the area secure. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, what? Okay, the monsters I killed before are off the road. I'm going to see if I can actually go back at all. Okay, I can go back to Crossbell. Which means I should be able to bring my car for But well, I've got to get my ingredients too, right? Yes. You know how it is, guys. 
That's how we make it. And another patrol! <laughs> yeah, I thought there'd be no changes here. Phew. Phew. Well, there's definitely probably changes in one location. Oh, they might be in the actual full-on news office. Yeah, they are. Damn it! Okay, maybe there isn't anything in Crossbell Force. We can always look to power up in some way or whatever. But then I might just want to save more sap here for later so that I can just jump to another tier of course. Because, like, for example, it'd be nice to make, like, cast two. It's four two. But, and it's a big but. Doesn't seem to be as great past the point. Like, a thousand? Hmm. I need my car back. I can't call my car back. We take our car to the location. It has beautiful CP regeneration functionality. You know how it is. I'll just shoot my car. It's all good. Oh, I can't actually go there? Hi guys, I'm parking my car out here. Can you look after it? Cheers. <laughs> Thanks. I have to do my own walking. What is this outmoded form of transport? I wouldn't know if there was boats. Am I missing this pump? Yes. What burst is here? <laughs> Wait, what burst is here? Wait, what burst is here? It's the end of the chapter? Dazzly shining fluff. Insanely quick and well insane. Near impossible to hit. It's not going to give us good Tell stuff, me. sadly. It is a bit too low down the, the tier. <laughs> oh shoot, did the middle one die? Oh, that's not good. I was going to do combos. But now I guess I'm locked out of doing that. Right, I've got this. I'll do it this way. <laughs> this is basically for Sep, if not even experience. That's just the way this works. Fortunately, there's two rows of battle here. How dare you? Why Tio? I better say we get my CP regen back of the car, right? Poison! Oh, random shining bomb found here. I'll take it, because that's free human material. But yes, first is back. That's a thing.
Was not expecting that. Bit worried about the request that we have now. Uh, is that still on a medium? Yeah. It is. Right, more fishing bait. There's always tons of it on the road. Yes. There it is again. It's coming from the west. Don't gotta have Teotot tot levels of perception to tell that much. It almost feels as though we're being beckoned, like when we first met Zeit. I concur. However, unlike then, I am sensing a hostile intent. Either we're dealing with a monster of considerable intelligence or something else entirely. Regardless, we need to be careful. Have to tell me. Especially when I can pick up more dumplings. So, uh, which west? What was that? It sounded like something shattering. It wasn't an explosion either. It came from the south. Hurry. Thanks for the, uh, for telling me which way stuff's going on. I bet this guy's a bit panicky. This isn't the direction that rule came from, the said stuff. You're not even allowed to go fishing. I was going to ask fishing guy. <laughs> What the hell's going on here? Seems I'm not allowed. I hope fishing guy would clear out. Not stick around because of what's going on, but... I'm not sure about these fisher guys. <laughs> They're a bit nuts, though. I mean, maybe like, fishing? Must fish? Oh. Just, just look at this. This gate is supposed to be made of some kind of reinforced alloy, too. Uh, unbelievable. There's no way this was done by some ordinary monster. What, was derailing a moving train not enough? What the hell are we going up against here? Well, no time to sleep on it. We better continue the pursuit before it gets away from us. If it makes it to the deepest part of the forest, we're going to have trouble keeping up. Yeah, good point. Why is Wazi acting so strange? Well, it doesn't seem like anything's changed out here. But then I, it's not like I have show mobs on. I don't have any of that stuff. Yes. <laughs> Everything here should die easily. Uh, what was the level of the chest yet that I'm nowhere near reaching still? <laughs> yes. No, I didn't forget about that thing. Come here, say yes. she. Where are we going? Ah, oh. that is so leaving obvious trails. Like it hasn't put any of these marks anywhere else along the way, apart from the destruction it caused at the gate. Everything is in shambles, and these marks are fresh too. Only one thing that can mean. Do you really want to chase something that can make that mark? What's responsible is likely just below. I can confirm that. My senses are picking up movement beneath us. But that isn't all. There is another strange presence. One that I can't quite put my finger on. Really? Not even you? Down this rope here is the survival training area. It's the heart of Knox Forest. A sprawl of dense woodland almost completely untouched by man. If we're going down there to chase our culprit, we'll need to be prepared. You're right, I've been there once for training at the police academy. The visibility is so bad, you can barely see five out in front of you. It's going to be one of the most dangerous missions yet. Ellie, Tio, Wazi, you three had better stay back. Uh, honestly, Lloyd, I would consider you to be a bigger liability here than the rest of us. If you think otherwise, we'd be happy to compare Sepif lines, sweetheart. I, uh, I get where you're coming from, Lloyd. The terrain down there's no joke. Still, I think we'll be fine if we work together. Yeah, we're a team. If anyone can pull through this, it's us. 
Okay, you made your point. Just keep in mind that we have no idea what's waiting for us down there. Let's descend only once we're ready. Of course. Roger. Right. From the Knox Forest Road to whatever doom awaits us. I'm sure it'll be fine. He says. Okay, we're all set. He and Randy will start climbing down first. After that, Ellie, Tio, and Wazi will climb down one at a time. So, well, I want you to bring up the rear and watch our six. Heard. You can count on me. All right, you want to contact the commander before we head down? Yeah, good, cool. If the CGF isn't too busy with the repairs, having them as backup would be a huge help. 